I address the issue of premenopausal women and hormones and the health benefits and feel-good benefits. Unfortunately, postmenopausal women also need hormones and it falls between the cracks. So let me explain a little bit as to why it falls between the cracks, why your physician will not understand what I'm about to explain to you. And please do not go to your physician and expect them to understand what I'm about to say because they don't. They won't, they're not trained unless they come to the courses to learn and understand. Every medical study shows that when women lose their hormones at menopause, there's adverse effects on their health and wellness. There's an increased risk of heart disease, strokes, dementia, memory loss, bone loss, osteoporosis, urogenital atrophy, vaginal dryness, loss of sexual desire, changes in their skin, changes in their mood, changes in their general overall function when you lose hormones. <laughs> Unfortunately, the hormones that we typically have been using in the United States are synthetic chemically altered hormones called Premin and Provera. Premin comes from the urine of pregnant mares. Provera is medroxyprogesterone acetate, which is a synthetic progestin that every woman fears because of the significant increased risk of breast cancer that's been associated with that synthetic drug in every study. That's why women fear hormones. That's why doctors say, no, you don't want hormones. That's why doctors don't want to prescribe hormones. And that's unfortunately why women are now suffering because they're misled to believe that hormones cause harm and damage. True, Premin and Provera have been associated with an increased risk of blood clots, heart attacks, strokes, and breast cancer. I don't use Premin and Provera. I don't recommend that anyone does, but I recommend replacing the hormones that you lose at menopause. The menopausal hormones that you lose that we replace are estradiol, progesterone, and testosterone. There is no study anywhere in the world in 40 years showing any harm with replacing estradiol. Premarin, yes. Estradiol, no. There's significant harm, increased risk of breast cancer and blood clots with Provera. There's absolutely no increased risk of blood clots or breast cancer with progesterone. In fact, natural progesterone, the medical term is micronized progesterone, has been shown to protect against breast cancer in every study. You would think that the OBGYN world would jump on all this data and all this literature showing breast cancer protection with progesterone. They don't because it's not patented and there's no drug company to support it because it can't be patented because it's quote natural. But yet there's a plethora of data and studies showing the safety and efficacy of estradiol and progesterone, which we call female hormones, that have not been shown to be harmful, but can result in significant improvement in hot flashes, night sweats, sleep dysfunction, depression, mood swings, vaginal dryness, your genital atrophy, chronic urinary tract infections, heart disease, which most women don't have to worry about because they can't conceptualize that it's the estradiol that protects their blood vessels in their brain and their bones from deteriorating. So there's tremendous health benefits to replacing female hormones. Just replace the right ones, don't replace the wrong ones or the harmful ones, and don't extrapolate them to be the same. If you go to your doctor and say, well, what about hormones? They'll say no. And then you'll ask, well, what about natural hormones? Oh no, they're bad, they're, they're, they're all the same. They have no clue or understanding of the difference. That's why we have these training courses where we train physicians to know and understand the difference. So for women that are suffering, women that think they know or they understand that they need hormones but they can't turn to their PMD or their family doctor because the family doctor doesn't know or understand hormones, then go to the WorldLink site and look up a physician in your area that's been trained. Last but not least, when you go through menopause you lose three hormones. Estradiol is the first one, progesterone is the second one, and testosterone is the third one. It's not just a male hormone, it's a female hormone too. When women lose testosterone, they lose sexual desire, libido, energy. They become fatigued. They gain weight, they lose muscle, they lose strength. They gain fat. That is all reversed when we replace testosterone. It's the third hormone that women's ovaries make, and most doctors have no clearer understanding as to how to measure it, monitor it, adjust it, or prescribe it, and don't ask your doctor for it because you'll be severely disappointed. Sorry, they're not trained or educated as to what it is, how to prescribe it, monitor it, or adjust it. We do that, and we train doctors on how to do that. 
if you truly do not feel well and you're truly deteriorating and you don't know what to do and you're at wit's ends and you've been prescribed a half a dozen antidepressants that don't work because they don't reverse the side effects of losing estradiol, progesterone, and testosterone, then you need to look into bioidentical hormones. There's books, there's pamphlets that we offer for patients to thoroughly read and get a, a better understanding of what hormones are, what happens when you lose them, what happens when you replace them, how to replace them adequately, and going to a physician that understands hormones is of extreme importance. Finally, even though women go through menopause and lose estradiol, progesterone, and testosterone, they don't understand that as they get older, they're still cold, tired, and fatigued. They can't lose the weight anymore. They continue to gain weight no matter what they do. They don't feel well. They're depressed. They're anxious. But they go to the doctor and they say, I think it's my thyroid. And the doctor says, it's not your thyroid. Your thyroid test is perfectly normal, which it is in most women. But the key here is to understand the difference between normal and optimal. Everyone has normal thyroid levels. How's that working out for you? I don't feel very well. I don't look very well. I don't know what to do. I've tried everything. Well, you haven't tried optimizing your thyroid. The concept is beyond this little introduction, but that's another hormone that we prescribe to help women with energy, fatigue, metabolism, fat burning, memory, cognition, overall function. Thyroid is also important for your integument. What's that? Um, hair, skin, and nails. So there's a multitude of hormones that we prescribe and we optimize, meaning we measure the levels and get the level back to the highest level that you had in your youth in order to help improve symptoms, improve wellness, and there's nothing better that you can do than optimizing your hormones as far as making yourself feel and function better. And that's postmenopausal hormone replacement in a nutshell.